how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Bake With Joe, The completely professional and super expert level cooking show where I teach you how to make some super easy, super tasty recipes without giving you food poisoning. Maybe. I hope. Today I'm going to be giving you three different recipes. Two are a little bit sweeter and one is a little bit more savoury. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm the sort of girl that is going to eat chocolate any chance she gets. So a lot of my breakfast go-to options are like sweeter with all the chocolate, do you know what I mean? But I thought I'd mix a savoury one in there too because on my poll that I asked on Instagram, all of you guys were like, um, savoury please. And I'm like, um, who even are you? But if you are more of a savoury queen, then drop a comment below letting me know that so that I can do some more videos with some savoury breakfast options. Plus, I've already done a savoury recipe over on my cheese recipe video. I'll leave it up here. Go and have a look at that to make yourself some egg muffins for those savoury queens out there. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's crack straight on with some recipes. Mm, 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 mm. Anyone else think that these lids are just stupid? Like... I'm gonna drink the whole can, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's bigger, but when are you ever just gonna have half of this, put it in the fridge, and then have another half later? Actually, that's a really smart point. Maybe this is actually a good idea. Okay, first recipe, cookie dough overnight oats. I know what you're thinking, what? That sounds so delicious. I know, that's why I'm giving it to you. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Greek yogurt and the almond milk into a bowl. Obviously, you can use whatever milk you like. And the yogurt that I'm using is literally my favourite yogurt in the whole wide world. It's the Skya Skier Skier. Pronounced Skia. Skia. I'm gonna use this yogurt. It looks like this. Looks like that. I actually love the vanilla one of this, but they don't really I don't think they sell it in Morrison's. But this one's like just as good, do you know what I mean? It will do the job. Okay, so we're gonna put 130 grams of Greek yogurt into a bowl. Mm -mm -mm. Bossed it. Followed by 180 ml of unsweetened almond milk. I stress, oi, nah. I swear these are supposed to have one of those little pulley things on. And this one didn't, and now I'm scared to use it. If I die, I die. God dang it. That'll do. It's a bit over, but do you know what I mean? Always an overachiever me. Okay, so now you've got to mix it, and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not really one to be like washing up loads of different things, so I'm just going to mix it with a spoon. Just deal with it. Is the yogurt supposed to look like it's about to turn into cheese? So next we're going to add the 45 grams of oats and a scoop of protein powder. Bossed it. I'm using vanilla protein powder, you can literally use whatever protein powder you want. Um, if you want like a chocolatey, you can use chocolate. If you want coffee, you can use coffee, do you know what I mean? There's so many out there. My protein actually does loads of different flavours. I get the Impact Whey Protein, you can get Whey Isolate. But to be honest, any protein powder from any company will do. Do you know what I mean? We're not exclusive here. And also, you don't have to use protein powder if you don't want to, but this recipe includes protein powder. So if you don't use it, you're not even doing this recipe. Like, why are you even here? But you probably could just put like another 30 odd grams of oats in instead. Okay, mix that bad boy. This is like most of my clients go to breakfast recipes now because I give everybody a bunch of recipe books when they join up to my coaching. And this is by far everyone's favorite recipe from the breakfast section. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd make you it today. Okay, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm not gonna lie, that already smells super like vanilla -y as it is. But do you know what I mean? Go hard or go home, hun. So where's my vanilla extract? Do you know me? I'm not really one to measure out my life. So we're just gonna kind of every friggin' time vanilla overnight oats, apparently. Okay, chocolate chips. Let's be quite honest. I'm gonna put more than the recommended serving size because <laughs> chocolate. Banging. Okay, so about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a little bit, a little bit of nutmeg, just because, you know what I mean, like nutmeg? Who actually loves nutmeg? Probably me, I don't know. I've never actually really taken the time to get to nutmeg, so. And a pinch of salt. And then we're just gonna stir it all together. Oi, that looks so good. Yes, queen. 
So this actually makes two servings. So I'm actually gonna put this in two little bowls like this, um, just so that I can put it in the fridge, leave it overnight, and then in the morning, do you know what I mean? It's called overnight, it's for a reason, duh. You can either eat it as it is, nice and cold, or you can pop it in the microwave for like a minute and it will be done. I prefer mine warm, but you do you, boo, do you know what I mean? Bang it. Okay, so these are my two pots of overnight oats. They look kind of nothing special now, but give it like overnightness, you know? So easy just to take to work, do you know what I mean? Literally just whack a lid on that, take <gasps> an extra chocolate chip. <gasps> mm. Anyway. Okay, so recipe numero dos is a ham and cheese omelette. Now, before we get into this little omelette rest, yeah, I just use rice as a short version of recipe. I'm judging myself, but don't judge me. You can literally use any sort of filling in these omelettes. It's so quick, so easy, so just like, you just literally whack it all in a pan and then boom, you've got breakfast. I actually usually put tuna in my omelettes, but everyone kicks off at me for doing that and they're like, why would you put tuna in an omelette? And I'm like, hun, why wouldn't you? So I'm actually just gonna use ham and cheese as a bit of a safe option because hun, I don't need any dislikes on the video, you know? Okay, so whilst this is just heating up a little bit, I've just sprayed some cooking oil on it. Um, I'm going to pop all of the eggs into a bowl and mix it up a little bit. I'm just going to whack some salt and pepper into that. Ew, I just dropped egg on my foot. So literally all I'm going to do, pour this onto the pan, cut up those whilst that's kind of cooking a little bit, and then whack everything on, done. Now, if I was like full-on Chef Central, I would probably saute the uh, mushrooms first before putting them in the omelette. But at the same time, let's be quite honest, A, nobody's got time to be washing up loads of different like pans. And also, <laughs> I'm not chef, so bye. Usually, I'd grate the cheese here, but I'm literally just going to lay it on thick as hell because I don't care, to be honest. I just want to say I'm absolutely human because every single time I've ever, ever cooked an omelette, it's been immaculate, never broken, never gone wrong, always looked cute. The one time I do it on camera, it looks like that. Oh, yeah, I swear it's actually paying. And then all you do is put all your washing up in the sink for the washing up fairy to deal with later. Thanks, Mum. Okay, third and final attempt at creating an actual breakfast, shall we? We're gonna peel the banana, because you don't want the skin on the banana, do you know what I mean? And he wants that bottom bit, like, take that away. <laughs> We're gonna go for some berry chocolate pancakes. For this recipe, you will need one banana, a third of a cup of oats, let's be honest, I'm just gonna wing it, because who actually knows what a third of a cup is? Some chocolate chips, some finely chopped strawberries, and then two eggs. I actually just want to say as well, my breakfast is usually a black coffee, so I'm actually really taking one for the team here by eating three breakfasts because I'm not just going to waste the food, do you know what I mean? I'm literally making two servings pretty much of each thing and having three breakfasts, so if you don't like and share this video, I'm going to be livid, you know? I've sprayed my pan with some cooking oil again and I'm literally just going to get this mixture here. I'm going to pop some chopped up strawberries and some chocolate chips on top and then we're just going to make some little pancakes. Yay! I think this is gonna be my favorite recipe. Wow. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Okay, I feel like we have to do a taste test. By taste test, I mean I want to eat it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to eat it. It's really hot. Guys, I've redeemed myself. I'm not going to lie. Because let's be quite honest. That omelette was a catastrophe. But this? Let me know in the comments. What are you? Sweet or savoury? Mmm. Mmm. 
Yes. Oh, interesting. Let me know in the comments which recipe you're gonna try first. I fully get it's probably not gonna be the omelette. Okay team, that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.